Drag gram me with a uh, whiskey do <laughs> hey god portable in the mud anyway guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sa and i am back with another cheese to spice your day if you are new do not forget to subscribe turn up your bell icon to get notifications on my videos please give this video a thumbs up and do not forget your thoughts will be needed in the comment section let's roll over to the gist for the day hmm I'm sure we all know our popular Nollywood actress Genevieve. Oh, um, they say she don't run mad though. She is now in a psychiatric hospital as we speak right now in the US. And they say the reason is because of her drugs. Hmm. Moving on. Apostle Suleiman has given a prophecy concerning the ASU strike. I'm I'm very sure you still don't want to hear this, I swear. This prophecy. Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, before we get to this particular gist, let's look at other happenings in the entertainment industry. Hmm. You guys will like this gist too. Mr. Ibu has finally revealed the person that poisoned him. Hmm. Yeah, this one. Veteran Hollywood actor and comedian John Ikechuko Okafo, better known as Mr. Ibu, has re-encountered how he was poisoned by a family member. Trust nobody, even your father. In a video which has gone viral, Mr. Ibu, his brother as well as his ever-caring wife were seen on the altar as he gave his testimony after his stint at the hospital. The legendary actor Mr. Ibu revealed, revealed that it had been a boy from his family who had poisoned him and his brother because he wasn't happy with his property. According to him, the boy had tried to look for ways to eliminate him from existence but god has impeded his efforts he said the same boy poisoned my elder brother we are the same family but since god started helping me i started buying things buying motors dashing people money building houses he wasn't happy he was really looking for means to eliminate me but god said no well here is the video you say close your eyes <laughs> My eyes won't be one close all the time. I don't waste time, I close them. After after that prayers. After that prayers. Ah, God will bless you for free. God will bless you. Nothing to write home about. Let me tell you, that is sweet or you know hard. For person to die, you know hard at all. <laughs> I was seeing myself stepping close to the other side. Hmm. But God said no to her. Only her tears I cry. No, they cry. Eh, they touch heart. Oh God! When she started crying, I started crying. Even though said my my face not good. I I I joined the crying. But however, God was hearing my tears. The same boy poisoned my elder brother. We are the same family. But since God started helping me, I started buying things, buy motor, dash people, build a house, do this. He's not happy. He was only looking for means to eliminate me. But God said no. There's nothing God cannot do. People have brought happiness to so many television stations nobody can kill you they cannot happiness 
I'm someone that loves what you do. People can be wicked though, family member. Something when you know say you will surely like the person knows that it will surely benefit from. Because there's no way Mr. Ebu will not give his own family members money. You just somebody will just wake up one morning and be like, I don't want anybody to prosper. Meanwhile, you say if you need help. Count and let them help you. Say no, you want to be wicked. So people are just dumb. Fool. I'm sorry for that word. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Cause me are the best. Without wasting much of your time, I'm going to take you guys straight up to the main cheese for the day. And we'll be starting with Genevieve. Hmm. I told you guys that she has run mad. Like she has run mental. Here is the gist. Popular Nollywood actress Genevieve Nanji has reportedly been hospitalized in the United States over mental issues. You hear them? Mental issues. This was disclosed by the controversial IG blogger Gis Lover, who affirmed that the actress's incense use of our drugs brought about this mental ailment. It was also revealed that this is the reason for the deletion of all posts on her Instagram page, of course. An act was preceded by unfollowing everyone on the app. Her aid has been trying by every means possible to keep the news out of the public. The post reads, Hello, Twe Twe. Please pray for actress Genevieve Nanji, as this is a trying time for her. According to information reaching Violence Headquarters, the actress is currently down with mental issue and currently taking treatment in Austin, Texas. Genevieve has been admitted for psychosis in a hospital in Texas, named Withheld. She went local some months ago. They are hiding the info like say tomorrow no day and we can't help but tell our fans so that they can put her in their prayers. Fans has been questioning our weird attitude of recent events on IG and the fans has been clueless. Some are even dragging her that she is proud. Why can't she unfollow everybody? Blah blah blah. The truth is that they had to take her phone from her and active all her posts. Can you remember when she was posting plenty random word stuffs? Then she tattooed a cross on her wrist with a blade. Was so terrible that they had to keep an eye on her. She was admitted sometimes this year and we hope that she recovers fast. Her media aide are really working overtime to keep the story out of the public. But I feel they should let the world know so they can put her in their prayers and not drag her unnecessarily. They can come out to the Bogito, but it is what it is they know the truth sometimes i feel fame demands too much from these celebrities because what she finds she got charisma she has the best brand for nollywood why drug again why i think say now only lesbianism we go tackle with gino not knowing it's just by the way lord lord take charge is fame really worth one's life is it worth the stress I come in peace, so pray for Jenny. She's not proud to have unfollowed everybody. Our media head did that. I know Sabi waiting them, they'd cover. Iggy way don't knock power. Oh, okay, I won't talk about the evil parts. Like, that's so hard. Say no to drugs. Hmm, <laughs> Genevieve. Ah, I feel these celebrities, they have their own personal lives now. It's not about the fame and the money. People are going through hell. Like, there are so many things that money cannot just solve. So many things but anyways let's just put her in prayer we are my tiktok as well okay there's this trend on tiktok where you have to ask your friend like um i'm stranded can i stay at your boyfriend's place well this lady tried this on her friend and mm, i think it didn't turn out well let me tell you guys the gist before we get over to apostle Suleiman's prophecy Nigerian lady who claimed to be stranded has narrated a chat with female friend whom she begged to allow stay at her boyfriend's place. The lady claimed to be really stranded and had to call her fr female friend for help. She begged her to allow her stay at her boyfriend's place for two days. However, her friend was feeling scared about everything and she quickly turned down the offer. Her friend made it clear that her relationship is not up to six months. <laughs> and ask her if she wants to scatter her relationship. She further offered to give her enough cash 
to enable her to get a hotel room rather than to go sleep with her boyfriend in his room while she's away. Read screenshots of their conversation which has been going viral online. Asking my friend if I can stay in her boyfriend. Ladies, this question is for you guys. Will you allow your friend sleep over at your boyfriend's house? All in the name of she's stranded. Hmm. As for me, there are no gay friends where I go say, make it go see for my boyfriend house. There's nothing like trust, my guy. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Either the mistake comes from the boy or it comes from the girl. Anything can happen. That's my own opinion, no. But let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Over to the last news of the day. I'm sure we all want to hear about the prophecy of Apostle Suleiman consigning the ASU strike. Of course. <laughs> Here is the prophecy. Apostle Johnson Suleiman, the general overseer of Omega Fire Ministry, finally replied to allegations leveled against him. You are surprised the news changed, are we? You guys should calm down. We will get there. We will get to the prophecy. Yesterday, being May 9, 2022, the clergy made the headlines after a Canadian-based singer, Stephanie Otubo, released some intimate pictures from their alleged romantic affair. It can be recorded that years before Stephanie Otubo had once accused Apostle Suleiman of sleeping with her, which the clergy had denied to be untrue. Rekindling the allegations, the Canadian-based singer has claimed that they did have an affair, releasing some pictures to back up her claims. Hmm. Apostle Suleiman, reacting to this, has stated that, has stated on Twitter about the unending, ongoing ASU strike. And the next day, he's trending on social, social media. He also added that the lady keeps utilizing the same strategy all the time. He wrote, I tweeted end ASU strike yesterday, Sunday, and today, Monday, I'm trending on Twitter. Una, well done. Same strategy all the time. You guys should should have done this at least a week later to avoid traces and ASU strike. I'm sure we all picked the prophecy from inside this news. It's trying to pray that ASU ends the strike. And we believe that when Papa prays for this, this Nigeria, God will help us because school needs to resume. See, I'm looking like a mashed potato. It doesn't matter. That's all for the day. If you are new, do not watch this video without subscribing. Turn up your bell icon to get notifications whenever I post a new video. Please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget your thoughts will be needed in the comment section about these videos I have posted. Make nobody drag my name on. I post prophecies so. Anyway guys, see you guys in our next video. I love you guys and thanks for watching.